All right, guys, back in the shop today working on the 2019 L5P. Today, we're going to show you how to fill up your DEF tank. Um, it's very easy, very simple. If you guys do own uh, something that is emissions compliant and you have to fill it up with DEF, you will have to do this. I know a lot of Fords in the new 2020s, the DEF fill is actually in the, um, in the fuel filler cap, which is fantastic for convenience because this way kind of sucks. But there's also a risk that um, you could potentially put DEF into your fuel tank, which is something you do not want to do. You will ruin uh, basically your entire fuel system. Injectors, pumps, etc. It turns abrasive and uh, it will absolutely destroy everything. So you cannot mix your DEF and your diesel fuel. So on the uh, L5Ps, I don't know about other model years, the actual fill port is right here. It's very simple to get to. I'll go over a few things that I think we're gonna need, or a few things that I know you're gonna need, and then uh, we'll get right into filling it. I cannot reiterate this enough. Diesel exhaust fluid does not go here, guys. That is just for diesel fuel only. Something that I need that you might not need, I'm not sure, a step ladder. Uh, the top of this truck right here, I actually just measured it. It is about five foot seven inches tall right here. It's a uh, because it's got a six and a half inch uh, BDS lift on it. So it sits up pretty high. Factory truck won't set that high. So I need a step ladder. Some other things that you need, you need uh, DEF tanks. These come in two and a half gallon tubs. These are peak blue, yeah, blue DEF. I've used it since I've had the truck. Uh, works fine, haven't really used any other brands. These do come with a little funnel with a vent in there. You'll be able to unscrew that, screw it in. A lot of times they leak. Um, Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. Most of the time, I end up just taking this off, using it, pouring it into a, a long funnel. It depends on how it goes, we'll see. I use a towel. Um, I'll show you why in a second. Always have shop towels. The towel I use is to cover up this fender. So you can lay it up here. So that way when you're leaning over the side of the truck, you're not gonna scratch your, uh, not gonna scratch your vehicle, so. That's what I do that for. I know this looks like overkill. I promise you, I don't think it is. If you spill even a little bitty drop of that DEF anywhere, if it's on black plastic, if it's on um, any any components back here, if you get it back here, if you splash it on you, if you splash it on the hood, it turns white and it crystallizes in like five minutes. And it's a nasty ass mess to try to clean up. So if you can just keep everything clean actually i'll show you this is about a half turn you just turn it a half turn if you see down inside of there that white crusty stuff that's what it turns to after it dries so if you spill that i've seen horror stories where there's white death all over the place definitely do not do that i'll just put a long funnel in and then we'll get right to filling it up i always write on these death tanks um, sometimes I pick one up, uh, on a different date than the next. I pick them up. They actually do expire. I pick them up. I actually got this from a tractor supply company. I write the date on there. So I always use the, uh, the oldest one first. So all you'll do is you'll pull this off undo the cap. There's a little pull lip here or tab. Don't get that stuff on your skin. It stinks. You just take your funnel. I'll go ahead and open that up. And they don't thread on here very good most of the time. Make a liar out of me. That one actually seemed to thread on pretty good. We'll see if we start pouring it, if it leaks. A lot of times it leaks around here or it's it doesn't sit on there properly. Uh, if it does leak, we'll end up just ditching this and trying to use this right out of the funnel. So this is two and a half gallons. Uh, I did get a, a deaf light saying I was around uh, 20, 15% uh, something like that. I had about 190, 200 miles left in the deaf tank. So anytime you see that message, I always carry a gallon of this with me in the toolbox. If you're on a long trip or something, you never know when you might need it. They sell it at almost all filling stations, but it's always uh, best to just have a tank on you and be prepared. All right, we're gonna see if we can try this again. Uh, I've tried it three times. The tripod kept falling over. It didn't work out. The first time the uh, funnel, which I told you normally doesn't work worth a crap, 
it started dripping. So we're just gonna do it this way. But you have to be very careful. And you don't wanna pour it super fast. Because if you do, it'll bubble back on you and fill up. There's a little overflow tank in there that catches it and drops it down, but you, you don't want to do that. So I'm going to continue to put this tank in there and I'll get right back with you. All right, so we have put five gallons of DEF in here. I put two, two and a half gallon tanks. Even though I was trying to be as super, as careful as possible, this is where the funnel and stuff started leaking before it actually dripped a little bit on this towel got on there and I still splashed stuff everywhere. So if you did not have any of this covered up, uh, it turns into a white crystallized, nasty looking concoction and uh, makes everything look disgusting. At least this way it keeps it nice and clean looking. So we'll uh, get in the vehicle, we'll check the, uh, the def and then I'll let you know. After I fill it up, I always get back in the vehicle, make sure that my uh, diesel exhaust fluid level shows okay as long as it shows okay then you should be good to go uh does time out and kind of give you an error after uh so many thousands of miles and it says diesel exhaust fluid range is x i should have videotaped that for you guys but i didn't get it in time um, but once you do that and it says that you're okay that means that your diesel exhaust fluid level is is good enough to run and you are filled up with def okay guys that wraps up how to install def in your 2017 to 2019 L5P 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. Always remember to button that cap up, put that sucker back on. Very straightforward and simple. Uh, majority of everybody knows how to do it, but just in case somebody was curious, um, I just thought I'd make a video for you guys. So should be uh, that should be it. Until next time. sitting on a very sketchy setup. Nope. Fail. Oh, that's a cool, uh, that's a cool shot of uh, what I don't want to shoot. <laughs> this is false again. The camera fell last time. And it's leaking. The stupid ass nozzle's leaking. Look at all it does. I'm just gonna unscrew this funnel because it doesn't work for the dam. If you trust that funnel, you're probably gonna have a mess. And the camera died. Frick.